Hi, it's James here from Chapman Machinery, and I'm going to take you through the TF350 range, some of the models we make, the options that we produce, and why they're a great machine for you to buy. We've set up a couple of or three machines here today. The first is TF350, set up as we would normally sell to sheep farmers for feeding sheep. The second machine, if we move over here, this is a specification we would normally sell for feeding cattle at grass. So slightly higher capacity, bigger wheels, but we'll cover that in more detail shortly. And then if we move over to the third machine over here, which is a road legal version, if you have or farms to travel to, or, or large distances on the road that you need to cover with a, with a machine such as this. If we go back over to the first machine, we'll look at the specification in a bit more detail. All of the three machines here today are based around the same basic frame, which is a 350 kilo space drop electric drive feeder. We also produce a mounted version. So these are all trailed machines. We also produce a mounted version for UTVs and pickups, which we'll show in a separate video. The TF350 as a standard configuration carries approximately 350 kilos of feed in a steel hot tip galvanized frame. All of the machines here have a good drawbar length and swivel hitch, which allows it to work under UTVs particularly, which have a hitch hidden away under the back of the machine. Moving back from the front, you've got the plug connection, which goes to the control box, which I'll show you shortly. This machine here has the optional nudge bar. As I mentioned earlier, this is a specification we'd normally sell for sheep farmers. Very often when you've got a large group of sheep, they, they tend to mob into the machine. If Once they know where the feed is coming from underneath the machine, they'll sometimes try to come into the front here and get underneath it. The nudge bar here helps keep them back, pushing them away from the machine so they can get to the feed from the back where they can't, can't come to any harm. If you come around and have a look here, you can see the adjustment mechanism on these machines. So all of these machines, depending on the feed that you're using, deposit between 0.5 and 2 kilos depending on what you calibrate them as. In order to calibrate you can adjust these two, you loosen these two thumb wheels, slide this plate forwards or back and tighten up when you get to the desired setting. Customers typically will set it to an easy multiple so two pounds or two kilos whichever you use so that they know that if they're feeding two kilos per head for example it's an easy to multiply how many drops you need to do with varying numbers of cattle or sheep in different fields. As these are an electric drive machine, we've brought along one of the control boxes. Each machine will come with a control box such as this, and you can also buy additional units if you want to use it behind other towing vehicles. Nice simple unit, fully waterproof, plug socket or electrical connection that goes to your battery, and then a wiring loom that runs to the back of the vehicle with a clip that will sit on the back of a rack for a quad, or you can bolt it onto a UTV hitch or pickup area. Plenty of cable provided with these machines, they should work on UTVs and 4x4s where you do need a large amount of cable. Controls are very simple and intuitive. You've got an on and off button here to turn the unit on. You preset the number of drops using these two arrows here, which will display on this, this screen. Once you set the required number of drops, you press run, the machine will do the rest. It counts down from that number and then stops at zero automatically. So you can focus on checking the stock, checking the condition of the animals in the field. You've got a PVC tonneau cover on here, waterproof cover, so once you're filled with feed, even if it's, if it's raining hard, it's going to remain dry, nice and easy to remove, the bungee cords at the side, and then the steel hopper in here. You've got quite a nice low fill height on these machines, depending on the specification, so if you're filling from a bin, they'll fit under most bins quite happily. Mud guards on these machines, they're a heavy duty steel mud guard with box section reinforcement. You can stand on these units, they're very very robust, won't get any issues there. The standard machines such as this one come with a 22 by 11 by 8 tyre, so it's a good quality tyre running on sealed waterproof bearings, just designed for maintenance free use uh, in, a, in a range of conditions. All of the electronics in these machines are either contained here which will sit within the cab or contained within one of these access panels on the side here or underneath so should you need to access them, they're, they're very easy to access. 
but protected from the elements in there. If we move across to the second machine now, So this is typically the specification that we'd sell for feeding cattle out of grass, especially during the summer or autumn months. It's based around the same basic machine, but with the addition of extension sides, so this increases the capacity to 500 kilos, depending on the feed you're using approximately, and the oversized tyres. So because of the extra capacity and the extra weight, we usually recommend to go for the oversized tyres, much, much bigger tyre, so they tow easier on rough ground. And also some users will, will spec this option in the winter if they're on very, very heavy and wet ground. The oversized tyres replace the standard 22 by 11 by 8 tyre we showed you on the first machine with a 25 by 13 by 9 uh, flotation tyre. Really nice, nice wide tyre, otherwise everything remains the same with the wheel bearings etc. And these are interchangeable at a later date. If I move across to the third machine. So this is our road legal model. Obviously of the machines I've shown you so far uh, for off-road use or for travelling very short distances between fields. This machine here is fully IVA approved for use on the road. You can tow this quite happily along the main road. Again, based on the same frame, but with the addition of suspension axles, road legal tyres and road legal lighting. You'll see this machine has the standard connection for the control box and also a second connection which runs to the LED lighting system. This is a 13-pin system, but it also comes supplied with a 7-pin adapter, so it should work on any towing vehicle out there. You'll see there are heavy-duty mudguard again, but set backwards because of the suspension axles. The tyres themselves are 20.5 by 8 by 10, so these are a road-legal tyre, but a semi-flotation, so they're good both on-road and off. And then at the back of the machine, you'll see that we've added this bar, which carries your number plate and your two light units. These are very high quality ASPOC LED lights, full LED with reverse 13 pin, sealed as well. The benefit of these light units is they are fully sealed. You'll see from the electrical connections there, properly waterproof. You shouldn't have any issues with the lights at all. They're also mounted on this nice heavy duty steelwork, designed to take a few knocks from cattle or from sheep if you have those and the general use and abuse that these machines get. Hopefully this will have covered a lot of the questions and options that, that we do, or questions you have on the machines and options we do. If you do have any other questions or if you're looking for a price, speak to your nearest distributor or get in touch with us directly using the contact details at the end of the video. James here from Chapman Machinery. Uh, this is a walk around of our newest product, the MF350 mounted feeder, which is a space drop livestock feeder designed for UTV mounting. As you can see here, we've got this one in a Polaris Ranger. It will fit in all of the common uh, sizes of, of UTV currently available. We've been manufacturing trail feeders for a number of years, and this machine, the MF350, is based on the same, same system same running gear so it's a tried and tested design. You've got a slope topper approximately 300 kilos capacity or 300 litre capacity depending on what you're feeding, fully galvanised construction, PVC tonneau cover which is waterproof and then you've got all your controls back here in your discharge chute. Easy to adjust the drop size and calibrate and then the feed is discharged here from this, adjust, from this adjustable deflector uh, which drops it to the side of the drawbar if you're towing a trailer uh, in the gap between that and the wheel, tra the wheel trailings, that's so where the wheels are running on the vehicle. The unit sits in the pickup bed, or in the UTV bed, is strapped in with a number of ratchet straps, so it's very easy to add or remove from the vehicle. And then you normally, in, in this instance, we've, we've only cabled it in temporarily, but normally you'd wire it in properly. You have the control box here, which sits in the cab. Same system as we use for our TF350s, very simple programmable control box with a nice, easy to read display. You can set the number of drops you want to do. You press run, it counts down, stops at zero. So if you know that you're feeding 
20 ewes or, 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 or 20 heifers. They need a kilo a day. If you put in a kilo of drop down, it's 20 drops. So very easy to use and very easy to focus on what you're, you know, checking the stock rather than what the actual snacker is doing. Got nice low loading height on this one. You can see you've got good rearward visibility in the UTV and it's very easy to load up the, the feed at the start of the day. All round great unit, two year warranty, uh, manufactured in the UK, fully galvanised. Hope you found that uh, video informative. Please subscribe to our channel or share with any friends or colleagues and um, we will send future videos out for our channel and we hope you enjoy them. Thank you.